Hi friends, welcome to my channel. This is the part 2 of the tutorial. Part 1 link I have given in the description. In this video, we have to start working on the uh, v-neck for the other side. So, we have completed 7 shells in the v-neck that side, right? So, we have to do the same for the other side also. Okay, but uh, the v-neck should be opposite side. That is, that is the only difference. And we have already placed the marker, right? So, one marker I have uh, removed. So, you have to start working on the next stitch of the marker. Okay, so seven shells. So, we have to do the same seven shell for the other side. So, next stitch marker, next stitch you can see, right? So, this stitch we have to start. Not this one this double crochet stitch okay from this double crochet stitch we have to start so just join the yarn and then make a chain one single crochet in the same stitch okay so you have to start with the single crochet stitch now skip one stitch and in the next uh, stitch I mean single crochet stitch you have to make a single two double crochet so start with the single in the double crochet stitch then skip one stitch and then next stitch single two double and then again skip two stitches you have to make a single two double in the next stitch so that you have to follow the pattern okay so and then you have to skip two stitches in the next stitch make a single two double so till the end you have to do like that at the end also it is different okay so just continue like this So we have completed so one single crochet stitch one two three four five six six shell stitch okay now you have to do the another shell here so skip two stitches in the last stitch you have to make a single crochet and then two double okay this is the only difference in this round so you have to start with a single end with single two double that you make sure okay so if you count now means you should get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So that side also first row you should get 7 shells. Now you have to make a chain 1 and then turn your work. So you have to make single crochet in the same double crochet stitch and then skip 1 double and then in the next single you have to make a single 2 double. So this while ending and starting of the row you have to Keep in mind that this is little different from that v-neck okay so now skip two stitches and then make a single two double in the next stitch and then again skip two stitches in the next single crochet stitch make a single two double skip two stitches and then in the next single crochet stitch make single Two double now skip two stitches and next stitch make single two double now you have to skip two stitches and in the next single crochet stitch you have to make a single two double Now you have to do a half double crochet decrease. Okay, so for that you have to skip one stitch. So yarn over, insert the hook in the next stitch, pull the yarn, and then insert the hook in the next stitch, pull the yarn. You have four loops in the hook. So yarn over, pull through all the loops. This is the half double crochet together, and then chain one, turn your work. Okay, so every time you have to decrease like this for the V neck. Now you have to do a single crochet in the same stitch here like this and then skip two stitches and in the next single you have to make single crochet and then two double crochet okay so 
this is the v neck shape now again you have to skip two stitches and then make a single two double so like that way you have to repeat okay So we have completed now you have to skip three stitches and then in the last stitch you have to make a single and then two double crochet okay now chain one turn your work so single crochet in the same turning stitch and then skip one stitch and then make a single two double in the next stitch Then again continue the same skip 2 stitches make a single 2 double skip 2 stitches make single 2 double till the end. So now we have completed. Now you have to do a decrease so skip one stitch and then in the next two stitch you have to make a half double crochet together like this and then chain one turn your work then continue as usual the pattern single crochet in the same stitch then skip two stitches and then in the next single crochet stitch here make a single two double And then skip two stitches make a single two double in the next stitch so like that you have to continue now skip three stitches and then make a single two double in the last single crochet stitch to finish this round So now chain one turn your work okay so now single crochet in the same stitch and then again you have to skip two stitches and make a single two double skip two stitches single two double till the end So now decrease okay so skip one stitch and then make a half double crochet together in the next two stitches every time you have to skip one shells right every row so for that we are doing like this okay so now chain one turn your work so you can see the v-neck now right so single crochet in the same stitch and then skip two stitches make a single two double in the next stitch so just continue like this way and then we'll see at the end of the decrease round okay so just continue and last you have to finish with single two double that you make sure and then turn chain one you have to start with the single and then continue to the another decrease so now i've reached the decrease portion okay so now make a single two double and then 
you have to skip one stitch and then make a half double crochet together in the next two stitches and then again you have to make a chain one turn your work make a single crochet in the same stitch skip two stitches and then make a single two double single two double and then again skip two stitches make a single two double now skip three stitches and then in the last stitch make a single two double and then chain one just to turn it till that side so i've completed and then have turned and completed now skip one stitch and then half double crochet together in the next two stitches then again chain one turn your work so single crochet in the same stitch and then skip two stitches make a single two double in the next stitch and then skip three stitches and then make a single two double in the last stitch i think uh, this is the 11th round now chain one turn your work next two rounds no decrease you just continue the same so make a single crochet in the same stitch then skip one stitch and then make a single two double right this is the 12th round so now you have to without making half double crochet together stitch skip two stitches and in the next stitch make a single two double okay chain one turn your work this is the last round so single and then skip one stitch in the next stitch make a single two double every time 11 12 13 the three rows no decrease okay so and then now you have to skip two stitches in the next single crochet stitch you have to make a single two double but every time we are doing last stitch right now you have to do single two double in the next stitch and then in the last stitch here you have to make a slip stitch to finish this round then chain one okay so now fasten off the yarn so 13 rounds completed so you can see the v-neck now so one day one concept you have to understand the decrease round okay so rest you have to proceed the same and then you can um, easily see the v-neck portion and then top three rows here no decrease and here also top three rows no decrease that you make sure every time okay so now we have to do the assemble okay so you have to keep the back panel and front panel and then we have to join them together okay so for that you can choose any one as a front side or back side so both look same only so whatever side you want you can keep it like that so for the back side you have to make the outer side as a front side okay so that you make sure so i have to keep it like this and then you have to join them so if you want you can make any type of uh, joining method i am going to do the sewing okay so now you have to every time you have to sew them in the inner side okay so this two shoulder part you have to join after that you have to join in the side portion so this portion and then from here to here okay so after that we'll work on the sleeve part so now you have to turn it over like this as i said and then we have to do the joining method okay so i am using the tapestry needle okay and then 
start sewing them normal sewing whatever method you know you can do it like this but you have to join them anyhow So done. So it should be like this. Okay. So this is the visible. It's nice only. So you can do the same for the side also. You have to join like this way. And you have to do in the inner side. All, okay. The same and other side also you have to do it like this. And then we have completed the sewing. Right. So you have to do the same for this side also from here to here okay and this is the inner side and here to here so i have done with the joining and i have completed one sleeve also okay so we have to do the same for the other side uh, the sleeve also i am using the same stitch only single to double so in collar and everywhere i have used the same stitch okay so and after that we will work in the collar portion so now we have to start in the basement so from here onwards we have to start so you have to skip the three shells see one two three so here you can see the single crochet stitch here also three shells is there right so uh, we have to start with the single crochet stitch here anywhere you had you can start okay and then join the yarn so first round will be a single crochet decrease round okay so you need to make a single crochet in every stitch and then for the decrease you need to do the single crochet together in the two stitches okay so now you have to make a single crochet and then single crochet so like that you have to make a single crochet in every stitch till 29 single crochets you need to do a single single okay till 29 from 30 to 35 you have to do a decrease
so i have completed 29 single crochets okay now you have to do a single crochet together so insert the hook in the next stitch and then pull the yarn insert the hook in the next stitch pull the yarn pull through all the loops so this is the first decrease so you have to do the second decrease now okay so this is the 31th sti uh, stitch and then this is the third decrease 32nd stitch and then this is the fourth decrease so insert the hook in the next stitch here again you have to do the decrease part okay like this this is the 33 stitch this is the fifth decrease 34 and then this is this sixth degrees is the 35 so totally you have to do the six decreases so 35 stitches and then continue making a single crochet in every stitch like this till the end okay till you will get 29 single crochet stitches okay just continue like this way till end here totally you will get 29 single i have got a 29 single now you need to make a two decreases so this is the first decrease and then next decrease so totally you should get 31 stitches okay so from the starting we have got 29 single crochets after that six decrees then 29 single crochets after that two decrees so totally you will get 66 stitches at the end that you make sure before starting the pattern row now i am going to change the color of the yarn and make a chain one single crochet in the same stitch and then two double in the same stitch then skip two stitches so one two and then in the next stitch make single two double like this and then skip two stitches make single two double in the next stitch So you just continue with the pattern like this till the end. So just continue like this way till the end of this round okay so i've completed now skip two stitches and in the next stitch make single two double so you will get 22 shells in the round okay so you have to do the same for the other side sleeve also first row should get 66 stitches and then next round you should get 22 shells okay now skip two stitches and then make a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch to finish this round now chain one turn your work okay so this round you have to turn your work and then start working on the pattern now you have to skip two stitches you have to directly work on the single crochet stitch here so make a single two double and then skip two stitches make a single crochet two double crochet in the next stitch And then skip two stitches in the next stitch make a single two double skip two stitches then in the next stitch make single two double and 
skip two stitches in the next stitch make single two double so just continue and repeat the same so you just continue and repeat the same till the end so i've reached the end now you have to skip two stitches and then here you have to make a single two double like this and then here in the first stitch you have to make a slip stitch chain one fasten off the yarn so this is the sleeve portion so you have to do the same for other side sleeve also okay so if you want you can um, add two to three rows for the sleeve okay that is your wish but i have completed only three rows single crochet row and then two pattern row so this is what i did for the sleeve portion so you can use a contrast color for the sleeve and collar okay so now we have to start working on the collar this is also um, very easy only so you have to start with the uh, first stitch you can see here so in the two stitches this is a starting stitch right so that this v-neck starting stitch you have to insert the hook and then start working on the pattern okay so now you have to do it like this chain one single crochet in the same stitch you have to start from first stitch in the this side v-neck and then end in the that side v-neck starting stitch okay so single crochet and then you have to make a single crochet in every stitch like this so till the back neck you should get 23 single crochets so you just continue making a single crochet you just count it and confirm so that you will get the equal amount of single crochet stitches in both left side and right side okay So till here you have got 23 single crochets from here to here. Now you just turn it to the back side and then start working on the single crochets like this. So the, for the back side you should get 31 single crochets. Okay. And then other side v-neck you should get 23 single crochets. So like that way you have to continue. Count it and make sure. Okay. So just continue like this till the back side and other side v-neck also you have to do the same so i have reached at the end so one side v-neck 23 back side 31 other side 23 okay so this is the uh, end end of the uh, v-neck now you have to make a two single in the last stitch here so i've got a 23 single this side and here also 23 single okay so only in the back side you should get 31 single now you have to do the slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch to finish this round okay now join the other yarn 
and then make a chain one turn your work make a single crochet in the same stitch and then two double in the same so then you have to proceed with the pattern now so you skip two stitches and then in the next stitch make a single two double and then again skip two stitches next stitch make a single two double so you just repeat the same pattern till the end of this round So just continue like this way till end so till here so i've completed i've reached at the end now you have to finish it off this round right so till this place you have got 25 shells okay in the um, collar so now skip one stitch and in the next stitch you have to make a single crochet to finish this round so changing the color of the yarn and then finish it off this round so with the gray color yarn you have to chain one turn your work and then proceed with the pattern so single two double in the same stitch two double skip two stitches then in the next stitch make single two double skip two stitches and then make single two double so just continue the same till the end So just continue with the same pattern till the end so i've completed now you have to skip two stitches and make a single two double and then skip two stitches make a single crochet in the last stitch to finish this round change the color of the yarn to dark gray color and then make a chain one turn your work then again you have to proceed the same single two double in the same stitch skip two stitches and then again you have to make a single two double then again you have to make a single two double so you have to do eight rows for the collar portion okay just repeat 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 and the same pattern so you have to repeat and complete eight rows like this way okay this is the third round right so you just repeat repeat and um, continue with the same pattern so i have completed eight rows now this is the collar okay you have to keep it like this so 
you you have to continue making a single crochet in the collar border okay so no need to fasten off the yarn now so you just do a single crochet round turn your work and then you have to start making a single crochet so chain one and then make a single crochet in the same stitch so again single crochet in the next stitch so single in the next then continue making a single crochet like this way so 10 single for one side and 10 single for the other side So I've reached at the end. So now you have to make a single crochet in the last stitch here and then make a slip stitch in the next stitch to finish this round. So I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel and click notification bell icon. Okay, so we have completed the collar portion now. So finally, we have done with the crop top so you can do the same design for any sizes whatever uh, size you want to make you can make okay so you can definitely try this one this is a very nice pattern okay so if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section thank you very much for watching my channel please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you